Hello and welcome to another video from the Inspiration College and as usual guys if you are new to this channel then I welcome you and I would love for you to just subscribe to the channel we are growing and because you are subscribing then you know it really encourages me to do more and more videos and if you have been watching my videos and you haven't subscribed yet I would love for you to do it now and also to give the video a like to share the video and also to leave a comment because you see when you interact with the video then YouTube will see the engagement and they will even show more people the video so guys what I'm going to do in this video a lot of you have been asking me how to customize your SEO tool script uh, so what I'm going to do in this short video I'm going to show you how to customize the banner that's the banner at the head and also I'm going to show you how to change that image because you know the original script has this blue looking color I didn't like the color so I changed mine to a darker blue and I also changed the image so that it might it just looks different from everybody else so I'm going to show you the easiest way to do that so just stay tuned to the rest of the video so guys this is just a screenshot of my SEO tool website so as you can see this color here this is what I'm going to show you how to change so you notice I'm using a deeper blue color here and I'm also going to show you how to change this image and uh, I'm going to show you the easiest method of doing it so that you know you can just go to the code follow the instructions that I'm giving you on this and you just change it um, the easiest way possible so let us look at another uh, section of the, the tool which you also need to change so just stay tuned for that so guys, uh, the next section that you're also going to change is this section. So you can click on any one of these tabs to get there. And remember, this is just a screenshot of my SEO tool script. So uh, here you're going to change this color also from the original color. And um, these images, you need to ensure that the image you're going to place here, that it has transparent background because um, if it doesn't then it's just going to be looking messy so you need to have transparent background so that it can fit nicely on any background here just like what you are seeing now so I'm going to show you how to do that and these images you can get them free from Google you just have to search for free images because remember you can't use copyrighted images you have to use the free images so I'm going to show you how to do that and in the next section I'm going to show you the part that you need to take to get to uh, the section where you change the color and also the section where you change the image so just stay tuned for that now guys welcome to the A to Z banner and image change now the first thing that we are going to look at we are going to look at the banner color folder and how you're going to obtain that as you can see here I have um, the part this is a part so I'm saying your website so what you're going to do the URL of your website is what you're going to have here so you notice I say your website so you're going to have the URL of your website that's like HTTPS um, your website .com. and then slash theme slash default slash CSS slash custom that CSS so this is where you're going these are the folders you're going to go into so that you can locate the section where you choose um, your color and change the color not really choose the color but where you change the color because you would have already decided which color you're going to use so you're just going to go into this folder and replace whatever uh, the developer has there with your own color so that's what we're going to do and then and so this is the color section and for the banner section um not the banner well the banner image folder um the, that image that you have on the banner yeah to, to locate the folder yeah, again it would be your website slash theme then slash default slash image slash seo banner.png so this is the um the what you would call it now um the title of the image so you have to give this image um the same title like what is already there so whatsoever image you're going to use you need to name it just like this seo banner.png and it has to be png it can't be jpg 
uh, um, because you're not going to have it showing um, when you refresh. So it has to be just like this SEO banner, that PNG. And remember, the image needs to be an image with transparent background. And also the dimensions of the image, it has to be the same. So you have to find an image with the same dimension. So I'm going to show you how to go into these folders. And this is just the easiest way. I've done the, the hard work for you because I could also show you how to like inspect the element and decide how to find it. But I, I say, you know what, I'm just going to do everything and show you how to just change the image. Later on, if you want to know how I obtain all of this, then I could do another video. But for now, you just want to change the image and change the color. So you just want everything easy right now. So that's what this really is. So now to the next section, we are going to actually go to the live website and go into these folders and show you how to do it but before we get there guys you need i'm not going to show you how to get your image and how to um choose transparent background for your image i'm assuming that you know how to do that uh, so i'm just going to assume that you have your image already and um you know what i might just uh, choose an image with a transparent background just for you to see because it's still going to have some people who don't understand what is happening so I'm just going to try and choose um, an image find an image with a transparent background so I can show you exactly how it works so just stay tuned to the next section so guys welcome to the live website so this is my SEO tool website and here let us just get straight to it so we need to change this color and we also need to find an image with a transparent background just like this one not exactly like this one but just the fact that you can see that this has a transparent background so this image can fit on any background i choose this could be red uh, it could be yellow then the image would fit perfectly on it so we're going to change this color and then we're going to change the image also and guys if you remember the part that i told you you need to take that you need to have your website then you need to go to theme then default then css then custom.css so we are going to go into that now and you know the video clip i did previously if you want to pause the video and then record uh, the part so that you can understand fully what i'm going to do because i'm just going to go straight into it uh, um, to show you how to get it so let us just do that so first of all you have two ways of doing it you can either go to your like your cpanel so if you are using like cpanel for your website you know normally your domain name provider would provide you with um, cpanel if you have hosting and all of that so if you are using cpanel or whichever whichever system you're using where you can get access to your file manager that's how you're going to do it but the other way um, which is um, the easy way you can also get access to your file manager on the back end of this website itself but you have to log in so you should know how to log into your back end um, obviously if you have the script you would know how to log into the back end of your website so I'm going to go into the back end of this website uh, and it would be this and quickly guys as you can see today I have uh, 16 page views nine unique visitors so you notice people are visiting but that's not what we are here for now so how are you going to get to file manager you need to go over to the left here and if you scroll down you will see file manager here so what you need to do is just click on file manager here and just allow it to open and then we are going to follow the path that i've been telling you about so first you need to find theme the folder the theme folder uh, because we already have our url our url would get us here so the next step is to click on the theme folder so you double click and after theme you need to go to default which is this one click on it double click on it again and then after default you need to find css which is the one at the top here this folder so you double click on that one and after css you need to find custom.css so let us see if we can locate custom.css so you need to scroll down and uh, let me make sure um, I have it here custom that's this one so I need to double click on this again and guys know that you're into custom.css which is the final step here you can see the code but you need to be very careful with this because um, I'm not a coder myself 
uh, but I can do whatever it is for me to do or find whatever I need to find. So as you can see here guys you have this code but what you want to locate is the color that you can change. So I'm going to show you um, the, the background color that you need to change and it's actually this one. So what you need to do before you do anything else you would just come down here and where you see this dot dot mast head uh, you need to go down to background and you see this color here this this is what you're going to change to the color you want and I'm going to show you how you can determine which color you want so this is my color and I wouldn't suggest that you use this color because then your your script will be looking like mine so you can choose a different color but this is a section you need to come to this section but how are you going to change this you have to click on edit here so if you click on edit here as you can see you now you are now able to change so if you notice a click you can see that you can easily change this i'm not going to change mine but this is how you would change it and when you're finished all you need to do is come over over to the right here where you see save and you would just save uh, so i'm going to show you how you can uh, find colors to actually replace here the color codes so for example if you go to and i'm going to leave the link of this site in the description of the video so you can just click on it and go straight to it so guys as you can see you can move this around to your different colors and you notice here you have the hex code changing as you move this around just click on it and hold on it so you would and then you can see the color here that you want so you can move this around and then you can see the color changing you could come up here and maybe you need a green color so you just move it around and when you are happy with the color that you need then you would see the color here also and then this is the code that you would you would uh, copy so you would just copy or you can right click copy and you notice it's a green color and then you would come back over to your tool uh, which is the file and you would just click here where you see this um, the cursor is uh, blinking here and you would just um, erase what is there already and paste but remember it's just this you're going to erase this and then you paste the color but what i would suggest guys before you do anything whatsoever the original color is from the developer what you need to do is record that somewhere so that if things don't work you can just go back to um, that color uh, but don't interfere with anything else other than the color here and then you right click and then you just paste it and then when you finish you save it and guys when you save and you go back to your tool and you refresh like if i go back to this and i click on refresh here the color might not change right away what can happen is that you might have like um what you call cache uh, you have to clear um, clear your cache and you're supposed to know how to do that c-a-c-h-e you know how to do that um you clear your cache and then uh, if it doesn't if you refresh and the color doesn't change then um, it has to do with your cache so you just clear the cache and then you refresh and then you would get the color change so that's how it is um, to change the color so now that you have the color change uh, so if we go back to um, sorry here after you finish all you need to do guys you uh, go back you just go back um, after you finish using after you finish saving you just go back and you can click back here and then it comes back here and uh, you can also click here what I normally do um, because sometimes it's a bit difficult to go back to the, the um, to the dashboard I would just remove um, you're not going to see it is off screen but you can just remove this extra bit in the URL and then you click on enter and it will take you back to uh, to the dashboard so now you know how to get into your file manager remember you click here so that's how it is to change the color guys now to the image we are going to show you i'm going to show you how to change the image but before we change the image let me just um first let yeah you know what let me go back to file manager so i'm going to show you how to change the image so we are going to follow the path again so remember it's your url and then you're going to go to theme and then you're going to go to default and then you're going to go to image and what you need to look for now guys you need to look for seo banner.png 
so if you scroll down to the bottom this is the image folder and that's where the banner would be so here here is it SEO banner and even when I hover over it you can see the image that I have uh, but obviously when you hover over yours you're going to see the, the image that the developer has so this is where you're going to um, replace this image but what I would suggest that you do I would suggest that you download the original image uh, onto your desktop just in case things don't work and you also need to determine the size of the image so uh, you can download um, let me see uh, I can't remember the size of the image no um, uh, the, not the size the dimensions of the image um, but you would be able when you download the image you would be able to look at it and see the dimensions of the image so now that you know this is the section where you find this image you're going to download that image and after you download it then you can just delete this image and then what you're going to do guys you're going to come over to this site this website um, it says free icon free icons PNG and I'm going to leave the link of this um, website so this is where you can get some free images and you notice the transparent background so what I did I just type like computer free image computer and it um, took me to this site so all of these images are like computer stuff and because the tool is really for websites and all of that that's why I sort of choose like computer but you can choose whatever image you want but make sure it's transparent the background is transparent so all of these backgrounds guys they are transparent so you could choose one of these images and also just do your own research and make sure that the images are free because it says here um, free icons and free images and you also have a resize um, option here guys so remember I told you before about the size you need to get the dimension of the image so what you can do guys I'm um, like for example if this image is bigger than the dimension that you need to use what you could do is uh, resize the image here so you could actually click here and then it would open to the resize um, editor and then you could drop your image and so you browse for your image like click here and it would take you to the folder where you have the image and you could upload your image and resize it or you have other resize tools online that you can use but you could have never tried this one but it's easy to just try this and see if it works make sure you get um, the, the right image size because if you don't get it then like for this you're not going to have the image you notice my image fit properly fits properly into the banner um, you notice um, everything about this image is within the banner so that's why you need to get the dimensions correctly and you can find the dimension as I say you just need to download the image and then look at the dimension I think let me show you I think I have it here yeah the dimension here if you can see this it's the width um, it's um, 573 by 397 that's 573 by 397 so you could write that down that's the dimension of this image the, the big image that's this um, that's this one and guys remember I told you about this other image which we're going to look at which is similar to the one we did this image now you also need to change this so um, I can also give you the dimension of that one which is this and the dimension of that one is 674 by 160 so when you're going to do your resize that's the dimension you're going to put so make sure you have 674 at the front times 160 and um, I think that's pixel so that's the dimension but the thing about this one guys the thing about this image because of the because I wanted to use this um, these uh, what I would call them gear wheels uh, what I did I went to Canva and I'm sure you heard of Canva I went to Canva and you remember I told you about the color code I went to Canva and I searched for the same color code, this blue color here. And so I created this image in Canva and then I placed these um, transparent background um, gear wheels into the image and then download it as PNG. So that's how I managed to get um, this image here with the same color. So it just um, blend in nicely with with the background color you don't have to do it that way you can find transparent images also to fit but it was a bit difficult for me to find 
you know the uh, um, the right image so that's why i just use canva to do it you can do the same and how you locate this this image guys um you would actually go back into where is it now uh, you go back into your image folder and here's it down here the the image is this one as you can see i hover over it and you can see the image there so it says the title of it is it's not really title but i can't remember remember what that is now but um it's seo banner and then you have underscore mini dot png that's seo banner underscore mini dot png so what you would do again as i said you download this image so that if things don't work you can upload it and then you replace it with your image so that's the and you have to save it with this title seo banner underscore mini that png and again you refresh and if it doesn't work you clear the cache and then refresh again and it will work so guys that's the that's the whole process for the entire video for you to have uh, your background color change and also your image so guys let me quickly say uh to download all you need to do if you want to download one of these images all you need to do is to click on it and then here you'll get uh, more information about the image so you have all of this as your information and it says personal use only uh, so obviously um when it says personal uh, this image license personal use so this is what, what i'm saying guys you probably have to uh, because i don't know if like you're going to upload it to a website if they consider that to be personal use um it's not like you're going to sell it or whatever so i think you can use it but you can try other websites uh, i just gave you this one as an example but just make sure that um the background is transparent so you can place it on any background and here is where you would actually click on download to download image also guys you need to make sure that you have the right size so if this um you can resize it here or you can find other resize tools online to resize and make sure when you resize it it still maintain um you know the transparent background and um the other thing i didn't uh show you um is after you find your image and you download it then when you come here this is where you're going to upload your image so all you need to do if you look here you'll see upload so if you click on upload here then you can drag your files and drop it here or you can just um i don't like to do this i just like to click on it and then it will take you to the folder where you have the image say for example this is the image you just click on this and then open and then it will upload i'm sure you know how to do that uh, when you finish you go back and that's that's really what it is and then it would replace uh, well it would replace the image you have because it would have already deleted uh, like this image but then it would just take the place of the original image that the developer gave us so that's how you do it and i'm sure guys if you have done it and it works well obviously it's going to work unless you didn't follow what i told you then you could just leave a comment and let me know what um how you get on with it so that's really what it is so again uh, thanks for watching this video and catch you in another one